Oh, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about who builds the best biker bar. Most bikers, if they have the room, they have a bar either in their garage or basement, their man cave. So let's talk about biker bars. My one, I took a lot of time thinking about my biker bar, what it was going to look like. So let's go back in history. This log that this came out of came out of a local river that over a hundred years ago. My grandfather cut logs with a crosscut saw. He had logging camps. The logs were tossed in the river, floated down the river to the sawmill. A lot of logs got caught up in the debris and had been there for 100 years. Recent flood had washed the logs out. They were picked up and they were sawed. So the odds of this being cut by my grandfather over 100 years ago are probably better than 25%. So that made the piece of wood interesting to me. So this has a live edge on it on both sides. We'll show you that. So I got the, this piece of wood from a guy that helped remove the logs. He sawed them up. So all the wood that I used does have a live edge. And just a piece of history that it could have been done by my grandfather that I did not know over 100 years ago makes the piece of wood real interesting so we'll get some details on how we did this but um, first we'll show you what makes it unique now I could have done anything I wanted with this piece of wood but I wanted something that was completely different than what anybody else has done everybody has routed out poured the stuff in between your route out pour your liquid in there and that was normal that's what everybody does my thoughts were, let's do something different. So I routed mine out, and I added a little touch of water, the look of water in mine. I painted it blue. So after I got it all routed out, I added uh, water. So I wanted water to be coming through mine and going down. So as that presented another problem to get it back. So if you shoot down there and show the water coming out. I have a Harley, Harley symbol here. I wrote it out as a river would flow. We come down to the end. And as the water gets down here, we have Upper Michigan. On this side, you can see Upper Michigan. We have bikes in here, we have saws, we have guns, we have wrenches, keys, and we do have motorbikes burnt into this, and also cross cuts. So if you come down here, you'll see how the water flows down. So we're gonna be doing another complete bar like this for a friend of mine. So if you subscribe, hit the notification for a bell, the videos come out. It's gonna be after Sturgis, we're gonna build a whole other replica, but with different stuff burnt into the bar. My friend is not into motorbikes, he's into more sports. So I'll show you how to burn whatever you want into your bar. So on this bar, the cross cut saw we done on the foot, where your feet set, because uh, that's how these logs were cut, was with cross cut. I got the motorbike going over it. That's what I do. I do deer hunting, moonshine, wrenches. Um, we went with the, like the pallet look on the front, and that way it kind of lets you look in at the bottom. And uh, that was my idea. The wife wanted to do solid, but I thought this would be more neat to add just the sunshine through the bottle, bottles. Got the cake down here. The water comes from down there. Comes up, goes around, goes through here. A lot of effort went into getting just the right amount of water to flow through here. We'll cover that in later videos. And you can take whatever pump you want, and stick down there, and I'll show you how to make just the right amount of water flow. I'm gonna show you how to route this out. The drop, this actually has a little drop to it to keep the water flowing. We'll talk about that in future videos. So, as I said, this here has bikes, saws, guns, moonshine. 
goes all the way down, drops into this three tier apple barrel, I think is what it's called, came off Amazon. This came with the pump in it, so there's water coming through here. If I didn't want the bar to have water coming down here, I can just have this on. So you could actually have this sitting in your basement wherever you want and it just pulls over. I do use the same cleaner you're going to use in your spa hot tub is in here for keeping it clean. And for about $300, you can cover this with a tempered glass. But I did not want tempered glass. I wanted it so everybody could put stuff in here and play in, play in it. carried away we do have weapons handy at the bar it's always nice to have sharp weapons close to where you're doing your drinking so you get too carried away a little slap of the axe this here whole thing was built by my friend Scott who you have seen in uh, previews I think of joint uh, he does the tire balancing he built this whole thing and he gave it to me for a, a present which is awful nice of me okay. pretty talented guy Besides balancing tires, he is also great with woodworking. So if you want to come around this side, I'll show you the, we use all the live edges on everything. I burnt the moonshine in here, got moonshine burnt down there. So I got different stuff burnt into it. So I'm going to show you a little bit about how we do that. But like I said, stay tuned. I also trimmed the window out in the same material. Continue to look back there. So, basically, it. Okay, we got the new bar in. I had an old bar here I bought at a yard sale. So, we, we got to get rid of that. That presents the new problem, how to get rid of the old bar. So today, I, I think sharp. Sure. We've got to uh, deal with uh, get rid of the old bar. So let's see if we can get rid of the old bar today. Kind of celebrate the 4th of July the right way. Let's go outside. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Recording? Yeah. Recording? Okay, this is what's left of the bar. We got a little bit left, we'll probably burn that. We got some Dragon's Breath. Uh, we'll put some Dragon's Breath on it, give it a shot, some gasoline. No, we can't use that. We can't do that, that's illegal. We'll find a legal way to get rid of the rest of this. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So this is sighted in pretty good. We hit it the first shot, we're ready for some prairie dogs out in Sturgis. Okay, if you enjoyed this video, like I said, please subscribe maybe give us a thumbs up and stay tuned i got one more thing i'd like to show you but if you don't like my video uh i guess go ahead and leave a message i take criticism well so i want to show you one more thing what you can do with your old t-shirts all right if anybody's like me your closet is full of t-shirts every rally you go to you buy at least one t-shirt you got a hundred of them in the closet this is what my family done for me. Had the t-shirts made into a blanket. So I'm not using the t-shirts anymore because I've got so many. So we used to, took a bunch of t-shirts and they sent it in and you can have a blanket made. I got everything from Tomahawk, Road Mind to Sturgis, Buffalo Chip, One-Eyed Dax, Hill City, Sturgis, Sturgis 2007, Plus Black Hills. Send, you can send it in and it is Etsy, we're going to post the link to it. So we'll have a link posted. So if you got a lot of t-shirts and you'd like them to get made into a blanket, and then that way you can have a second use for it. Done an awesome job on it. Got Laconi on here, 2013. The Vets is held in Brandon Wood.
So check them out. If you got a closet full of t-shirts, I know you do, because I have a closet. I actually got enough to make three or four more blankets right now. My next video, we're gonna be preparing for Sturgis. They say the crowds are expected to be down because of gas prices. So if you've never been to Sturgis, this may be the year to go. You know it's gonna cost you a little bit more. You're gonna have less people to deal with, less traffic to deal with. So till the next video, everybody have a happy 4th of July and catch us next time.